In the Fury Kingdom, those who possess magical abilities are required to join guilds to fulfill their supernatural duties. The notorious and hazardous Fairy Tale Guild is the most prominent of these. The unbreakable bond between the four members of Fairy Tale arises from an indescribable power, not their physical strength or magical prowess. As they carry out their missions, their connection only grows stronger. Antagonizing these comrades would be unwise, as they would have to endure Natsu's blazing punches, Grey's earth-shattering hammer, Lucis' wrathful celestial spirits, or Urza's razor-sharp sword. This otherworldly team unleashes the same amount of destruction on their adversaries as they do their surroundings, whether they are battling demons or brawling in the cafeteria. Number 10. Fire Force Fairy Tale is unquestionably one of the anime series that compares to Fire Force the closest. In a world where firefighters battle fire zombies, Fire Force tells Shinra Kusakabe's narrative. The anime has amazing battles and action sequences, such as Fire Force. The captains of Fire Force companies resemble the masters of Fairy Tales guilds. Both teams go on a journey. When it comes to their personalities and antagonists, Arthur and Grey, respectively, our heroine Sheena Kusakabe and Natsu Dragneel share a lot in common. Fire explosions in Fire Force always make me think of Fairy Tale. I'm not sure why, but it does. You should check out Fire Force if you loved Fairy Tale. Number 9. Naruto Naruto, like Fairy Tale, is poised to be the next big anime phenomenon. That gives me the same feeling as watching Fairy Tale. I'm excited for the next episode since there are so many people and hilarious scenarios. Thus, if you like Fairy Tale, I'm sure you'll appreciate Naruto Kyuubi, the nine tailed demon fox, has attacked Konohagakure, the ninja village. Konoha, the fourth Hokage, gives his life to trap the demon fox inside the newborn Naruto Uzumaki, placing the villagers' lives in great danger. Uruka Amino, Naruto's instructor, eventually tells him that the nine tailed fox resides inside him. From there on, he pledges to be the finest ninja and the Hokage of Konohaga Kyur. Number 8, One Piece Because the main characters are close, both anime a high priority on loyalty, trust. The fact that they are both comedies is really important. One of the few differences is that the One Piece is about pirates and the fairy tale is about wizards. The narrative follows a band of pirates led by Monkey D. Luffy on their quest for One Piece, the world's most valuable treasure. Luffy isn't your typical pirate. He is more interested in meeting new people and having fun adventures with his friends than in finding One Piece. Their gang gets into a lot of mischief and has a lot of humorous occurrences and unusual encounters. The series is action-packed and you'll find yourself laughing out loud at many of the comedic sequences. Number 7. Black Clover Both programs focus on friendship and subscribe to the maxim, never give up. The main character is a part of a guild squad that includes numerous individuals that are quite unlike to one another. Both programs deliver the notion that everyone understands each other, and that I will go to any extent to defend my friends. The game includes friendship, competition, battles, and life or death fighting. Asta and Yuno were dumped together at the same church and have been inseparable ever since. When they were young, they promised to compete with each other to see who would become the next Emperor Magus. 
However, as they grow older, some of the differences between them become simple. You know is a genius with magic, with great power and control, while Asta can't use magic at all, and tries to make up for his lack with physical training. When they received their Grimo at the age of 15, you know had a spectacular book with a four-leaf clover, while Asta received nothing. However, when you know was threatened, the truth about Asta's power was revealed. He received a grimoire clover. A black clover. Number 6. Leech. There is a lot of action and a little bit of joy in both Bleach and Fairy Tale, with heroes who are essentially unstoppable. The action never stops, and both storylines are potentially endless. Both heroes travel and engage in combat in packs, forging strong relationships with their comrades. Ichigo Kurosaki's family is attacked by a hollow, a wicked being that yearns to eat human souls. The Soul Reaper Rukia Kuchiki, who was hurt defending Ichigo's family from the attacker, then appears to him. In order to rescue his family, Ichigo agrees to Rukia's offer to take her abilities, and as a result, he transforms into a Soul Reaper. Ichigo is entrusted with finding the hollows that plague their hamlet, but Rukia is unable to regain her talents. Number 5. The Seven Deadly Sins The two are comparable in that each character has their own personality and talent that makes them strong. They appreciate their relationship just as much, and Fairy Tail recruits guild members by accepting adventures, quests, similar to Meliodas' search for Seven Deadly Sins partners. The Seven Deadly Sins follows Elizabeth, the third princess of the Kingdom of Leones, in her quest for the Seven Deadly Sins. She seeks their help not only to retake her kingdom from the Holy Knights, but also to seek justice in an unfair world. Number 4. Soul Eater Both contain two main characters that appear to hate each other and are always seeking to beat one another. But when it comes to maintaining the things they care about, they create an unstoppable force. There are a lot of random things that will make you laugh in both series. The renowned Death Weapon Meister School, a technical school run by the Shinigami, Lord Death himself, is located in Death City. Their goal was to create death sides that the Shinigami might use to battle the numerous horrors that existed in their fictional world. Yet, these death sides aren't constructed of actual weapons. Rather, they're created by human hybrids with the power to turn their diesel into demon weapons. But only after they've eaten the souls of 99 evil creatures and one witch. Soul Eater follows these students of Shibison as they take on missions to collect souls and protect the city from the world's threats while working together under the snickering sun to become sounder in mind, body, and soul. Number 3. My Hero Academia Both shows are highly anticipated feel-good dramas featuring shonen-style graphics and a cast of super-powered adolescent characters. Fairy Tale is a fictional universe, whereas Boku no Hero Academia represents reality more accurately. Izuku admires heroes and makes notes on them whenever he has the chance due to the unfair circumstance of being quirkless. Izuku's persistence seems to have paid off. Though, as he runs upon All Might, the world's greatest hero and his personal hero, All Might has chosen Izuku to be his replacement since he possesses a unique talent that can be passed down through the generations. After months of grueling preparation, Izuku enrolls in Ua Hai. Thanks to his eccentric but talented friends and the escalating threat posed by a terrible organization, Izuku will soon learn what it means to be a hero.
Number 2. Jintama While coming from distinct genres, both movies have a fantastic combination of comedy, action, fantasy, and moving drama. Both feature outstanding musical scores. The feudal Japan has been seized by extraterrestrial invaders known as the Amanto. As a result, a sword ban has been implemented, and as a result, Japanese samurai are despised. But, despite his love of desserts and his occupation as a Yorozuya, one guy, Jintoki Sakata, still retains the heart of a warrior. He regularly has encounters with the police, ragtag rebels, and assassins, which usually have humorous but terrible ends, so these strange jobs aren't always simple for him. Number 1. Blue Exorcist As the plot develops, the array of people becomes more and more bizarre, providing a counterbalance. Funny hero moments are interspersed throughout the depressing story arc. Ao no Exorcist centers on Rin Okumura, who until one day when he is surrounded by demons appears to be an ordinary though disturbed adolescent. When he finds out that he is Satan's son and that his demon father wants him to come back so that they can defeat Asya together, his entire life is flipped upside down. Rin chooses to become an exorcist in order to fight alongside his brother Yukio to save Asya rather than joining the King of Gehenna. Today's video has also been ended. I'll see you in the next part. Please give me one like and one subscribe channel if you like the video.